Today it's going to be a little bit odd. The, we're going to read on Ivana Trump's funeral. So that's what we'll be reading about. The kids, Donald, Ivana. So I hope you like the video. If you like the video, please do like the video. And if you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. just be interesting to pull a few cards on each of the players you know Eric Donnie Ivanka um, maybe even uh, the uh, youngest son uh, Melania's son uh, Baron of course Trump and let's see what Ivana thinks about the whole thing so can you imagine let's bury mama in the backyard it'll save a buck as a matter of fact we'll make some tax uh, savings why not so <laughs> that is amazing. Now, apparently, Trump had been working on this, uh, turning some area in the Bedminster, New Jersey golf club into a graveyard for, since 2007. So, uh, you know, it's not a new idea, and it was in the works. I just wonder if Ivana was, was you know, if that was her wishes, if she was okay with that. Um, I mean, unbelievable. It is the same. As when you're those people, you know, they live at these resorts. It's the same thing as saying, let's bury mom in the backyard. It's cheaper. <laughs> Good. We'll make money on it. People will pay to see her. Unbelievable. But, I mean, truthfully, let's see. Let's try to justify it. Will they probably see her more because maybe they golf a lot at that specific golf club? Maybe they vacation there a lot. I don't know. I really don't know this this family's habits. I think that is one of his main um, home away homes away from home. So Ivana in the backyard. But before we do anything, let's have a moment of meditation. Bury mom in the backyard. Why not? Poor Ivana. I have to think. I mean, I'm sure she had a will. And um, she must have made plans. I don't know. So let's do this. Let's draw just three cards to see. Did Ivana know about this? Did she agree with it? So three cards. Okay, one, two, three. Was she, was she up for it, so to speak? My goodness, Ivana gets buried in the backyard. Okay, the first card for this question is, did Ivana uh, know about it? Okay, this is the, um, the moon, secrets being revealed. That's very interesting. So secrets being revealed, the moon card. It's a beautiful card. Um, could it be that that, in fact, was her wish for some reason or another? Next card up. This is the chariot. Things happening rapidly. Things happening rapidly. No idea how that fits in. Last card is um, the Eight of Pentacles. Practicing your craft. My goodness this is the, called the apprentice card so did she know about it I would say yeah she did with these secrets being revealed I would say that this was uh, some sort of somehow worked out between her and the Donald and with this chariot uh, coming on here I wonder if this wasn't uh, didn't happen recently in other words it wasn't a long-term plan this happened th this whole decision came about uh, quickly and uh, this uh, practicing your craft is absolutely it I mean the Trump has worked out uh, getting benefit from everyone who comes close to him. He's now made it uh, an art. From life, you announce the birth, you uh, promote your whole life while you're living, and in the end, 
Um, if there's no other benefit, at least if you're in that family, you're going to provide some sort of a tax benefit. Practicing your, your, your art and getting it perfect. So I'll say loosely, yeah, I think she knew. I think she knew. He must have sold it to her in some stupendous way, but did you see how sad the little grave is? Nothing to say they, they won't glam it up later, but I'm not thinking they will. So, okay, so now we, we're just going to say that Ivana knew, okay? Ivana knew that it was going to go on. Uh, she was going to be interred there. Um, what about Ivanka? How did she play in on this? What did she think about it? Let's do six cards for Ivanka regarding this situation. One, two, three, four, five. My goodness, six. Okay. Ivanka, how do you fit into this whole situation with your mother being buried in the backyard? So we start out with the Hierophant. So this is the Hierophant represents a, a way things are governed or a way things are, are done. This would be this would represent the, the methods of the church, uh, government, the structure of your family. So the fact that this comes out as the Hierophant, you know what? In this family, this is just the way things are done and it's accepted. If there is a benefit to the family, to the machine, the Trump machine, then that's it, very normal. That's just how the way things go. That's the signifier for Ivanka, Ivanka uh, knowing about the situation with her mother. The challenge to it, though, with this Ten of Cups, well, this is kind of appropriate. Ten of Cups is uh, familial uh, happiness and wishes being fulfilled and, um, you know, legacy uh, on an emotional level. So maybe this makes perfect sense to them somehow, that for this family, we're all going to be interred at the golf course. The um, basis of this reading, then, is this Ace of Swords, Truth, Justice, Rules, and Law. The rules of the game, if you're a Trump, is the base of the whole thing. The past to this reading, with the Seven of Wands. Seven of Wands is, um, you know, typically having to fend off a lot of actions, a lot of plans. And, but that's in the past. So I think that what it's telling us is that this family has just resolved itself, okay, that uh, these things as they come up, we're just going to go with the flow because it doesn't matter once you're dead anyway. In the sky of this reading, for Ivanka's role in this, or knowledge or participation, is this uh, Seven of Pentacles. And now this Seven of Pentacles is wondering if I've done enough. This is Ivanka herself wondering, should I have gone along with it? Should I push back to do something else? Did we get enough tax credits? <laughs> wondering if you've done enough. That's Ivanka. And then the uh, final card for Ivanka in this whole thing, I think she's all right along with it the whole time, is this world card. Oh yeah, this is the completion. This is how it was always going to end. And uh, now we're on to something else. So I'm going to say, yeah, that Ivan Ivanka was in on it completely. The The way this reads is that the, the basis, the, the signifier of the whole thing for Ivanka is that this is how this family works, the Hierophant, the way things go here. That's what we do in this family. Uh, the Ten of uh, Cups is, um, you know, it just builds on that emotional value that this lends. Uh, the basis of the reading is this is their truth. Uh, the past of this is all the obstacles, all the objections. Those are a thing of the past, and um, we're not going to entertain anything like that anymore. And in the sky of this, with the Seven of Pentacles, they start wondering if she actually did enough. Now, we can be generous and say, does that mean, did I do, do enough to give mom a graceful uh, burial or did we wring enough benefit out of this and then the uh, final outcome with the world card just mean yeah that is the completion of the cycle for someone in this family if you played by the rules of this family this is how it's going to end for you you're going to pay your debt back some way so that's Ivanka completely um, made perfect sense to her that this was going to happen and she wouldn't have expected anything else she might arrange for something different for herself. Maybe that's why she converted to Judaism in part, you know, 
to maybe have some sort of a say in this. Now let's do um, the brothers together. Uh, Don and Eric. No, we'll do them separate. We'll do three cards each. Each one for it will do, um, let's do Don first. Don Jr. How does he play into this with three cards? What would we say Donnie feels about this? He had some not nice things apparently to say about his mother uh, in the uh, funeral. So two cards came out together. We'll keep them two and three. And you know, if we need another card to clarify this, I won't be shy about taking it right off the top. So Donnie. How do you play into this thing with your mother being buried in the backyard? So the chariot again. Interesting. It happened fast. I think these kids may not have understood what was going to happen. And dad just barreled right in and rolled over all of them and said, this is what's happening. The next card for Donnie is uh, temperance. Finding a balance. Okay, he's always looking for that balance of what to do uh, regarding his dad. And the other card for Donnie in this situation is this Five of Wands. And the Five of Wands is, uh, my Australian friends like to say, argy-bargy. Pointless arguing, plans clashing with each other. That's in the past, just like in the first reading. Yeah, the plans that, that would uh, have clashed with this are, those are put away. Okay, so for Donnie, we get, it happened fast. His dad steamrolled over all of them. Um, it was the better of any evils. And any plans to the contrary were a thing of the past. Yeah, he just got steamrolled right into it. And, uh, my goodness. Then, let's see Eric. How does Eric think about this? Eric Trump. Eric Trump, burying mom in the backyard. How did that set with him? Did, he even, did it even occur to him? Did he think about it? I don't think they did. These, all of these people are so wrapped up in themselves that I don't think they gave any of this a second thought ahead of time. Anyway, three cards for Eric. I would say he's maybe one of the least worse of the three, but no angel. So for Eric, very mom in the backyard, the high priestess, he sees this as a um, an honor. Okay, he sees this as part of the empire building. High priestess, that's that's Ivan, Ivana to him. She's the high priestess of this family. The uh, next card for Eric is the two of cups. Lovers. I think he was close with his mother, and I think he does like this here, and I think he will probably be one of the kids who genuinely appreciates and will make good use of the fact that his mother is somewhere where he can see her easily. Go out, say hey to mom, play around a golf, have some drinks. Bye, mom. See you next time. The last card for Eric is the Knight of Swords. I think he feels like he is certainly uh, the knight in this situation. His truth, his justice, his rules, his law. This is good for everybody involved. Why wouldn't we do it? Yeah, he's completely on board. They don't even see the insanity of it. Um, before we move on to Donnie, Big Don, let's see uh, Baron. Baron Trump. Young man, well, huge. He's a giant now. And um, what does he think about all this? I wonder how well he knew uh, Ivanka Baron. Let's see what he does. They showed uh, a little video where someone read his lips. Where he's, he's whispering to his mother, uh, are you okay? So let's see. Baron, three cards. One, two, and three. Baron Trump. How do you fit into any of this, Baron? What was on your mind that day? First card up for Baron is the sun. Well, he is the, uh, I think he sees himself as le the legitimate, eventual heir. The sun, okay? The uh, fair-haired child, so to speak. And that's because that's how his mother makes him feel, okay? That's his mother, and this is uh, Baron. He's so tall, and the mom right here. Yeah, it's an unusually close relationship. The uh, next card for Baron is the Six of Cups. And um, the Six of Cups is, you know, kind of th thinking about all of the emotion that's involved in all of this. It's a very contemplative um, 
even-handed but uh, emotional situation. Almost an innocence there. And then the first card of this, with this Six of Pentacles, is, uh, and then the Six of Pentacles, again, Pentacles are, are value. Sometimes they are money. But I think he just saw the value in this family uh, gathering. So for uh, Baron, we say he is the legitimate fair-haired child. He is the son. Okay. Um, this uh, was a, an even-handed emotional situation. He's a young man. I don't think he would have seen anything nefarious about it. And with the Six of Pentacles, again, for him, there was value in this situation. Donald. Donald Trump. Donald Trump. Was this... Did you consider this a revenge? I won in the end, Ivana. Whatever those millions of dollars worth were that you took from me so long ago, you're going to pay it back. And now's the time. Reckoning has caught up with you, Ivana. Donald Trump. Six cards for him regarding Ivana's burial. Has to be something like that. Donald Trump and his feelings, which have to be ecstatic about uh, Ivan Ivana finally contributing again to his empire. Signifier card for Donald regarding Ivana's funeral. Strength. Oh, yeah. This is how he sees himself. He has ruled over her even in death. He is, is showing his force, his strength. The challenge to that is the hanged man looking at things from another perspective. Yeah, I would think that that's where he thinks he's at. Look, this is just another way to do things. When you're me, when you're us, this is how we arrange things. You have to look at this in another way. That kind of to be his argument if anyone had uh, had an argument against it. The basis of this reading for Donald Trump and uh, Ivanka's sad end. So this is the Nine of Pentacles. And the Nine of Pentacles is the really fabulously wealthy uh, woman. Okay, she's luxuriating in all of her wealth. And this is the basis of this thing. And I think Donald just sees this as an honor to her, that she should feel honored to have a uh, six by, you know, six, what is it, six, two by, three by six plot uh, at the uh, golf course. Yeah, I think this is the epitome of, of, for Donald, this would be the epitome of her, her value. The past of this, with this Eight of Cups, you know, the Eight of Cups is typically having to uh, turn away from something of emotional value. But that's in the past. Emotional value for Donald Trump in this situation is long past. We're not going to worry about that. We're not going to cry over spilt milk. We're going to take what's left. There's two cups. There's a couple of cups usually left in this. And uh, we're going to move on and squeeze whatever the value is left out of the situation from the past. And the sky of this for Donald is the king of cups. Uh, yeah, He feels as if he is the top of the line he is showing his compassion he's allowing her to be buried in his uh, cherished uh, bedminster and why would he do that for nothing in return he wouldn't he sees her as part of his legacy and then the final card for donald trump is the star card yeah this for him is the ultimate um, to show your star power, to show your your value. And he feels like this is what's going to immortalize her forever. And uh, he has convinced himself of that. And it's not just about the money. Or maybe it is also about the money, and he's proud of that too. So for Donald Trump, regarding Ivana, Ivana being buried in the backyard, making it happen just showed his strength. He barreled in and said, this is where it's going to go. We've been planning on this for years. Now we drop the first one in. The um, challenge to it is looking at it from a different perspective. We shouldn't look at this as burying mom in the backyard. We should look at this as the beginning of our legacy. You know, the beginning of our of the end of the forever part of the Trump legacy. It doesn't start with his dad or his grandpa. For Trump, it's about him. The basis of this is Ivana herself, the fabulously wealthy woman. 
The past to this is the e emotional Eight of Cups, saying I have to walk away from the emotions and understand the value that's involved here. Donald Trump up here in the sky is just again showing us that he somehow has twisted himself into believing he is the king of compassion by letting this happen, by allowing her to be buried at his uh, Bedminster uh, club. And then the final outcome with this star card, again, is this is just establishing the legacy of his 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 family. That's where Donald lands on this. Well, that's what I got. Tell me what you think. Well, I hope you liked the video. Um, tell me what you think about the video in the comments. Let me know what you'd like me to read about next. And um, my gosh, this family, it just never gets better. Someone said it very well. They said they're all just awful. Hey, I'm going to show you the cards now. Hang on. So these cards are terrific. This is the Klimt Tarot. And some of you may uh, recognize this kind of gold uh, foil, gold embossed uh, artwork that is um, that Gustav Klimt is famous for. These are by Los Scarabio, And uh, these cards are really amazing. They give you a perfect uh, example of some of his works that uh, really uh, made him uh, so famous. Um, the cards uh, are amazing. I'll show you in a second. The instruction booklet isn't really much. Um, it's just a, a, some good information about Clint, really, several pages on him. And then uh, some typical descriptions for the cards and uh, with the verse meanings written in italics. And it's in several different languages. So that's useful to lots of folks, I suppose. The containers, nothing to speak of except that it does have beautiful examples of his art all the way around. And the cards are typical cards. I mean, they're easy to use. They're a shape that you're, you're familiar with, and they're a card stock that works pretty well. But uh, the real uh, star of the show here uh, uh, are the cards themselves. And they do come with little um, uh, suggestions up here as to what the cards are in, in four different languages. So like, these are ones. Uh, so you start to see them now, and you can see the gold foil in there and how beautifully uh, everything is depicted and they're just a real joy to use and they just uh, uh, reinforce uh, Klimt's uh, uh, use of nude figures, people in everyday uh, poses and everyday uh, shapes so uh, which wasn't very typical at the time. You wouldn't often find uh, cards or, or not cards, I'm sorry, but paintings that were so um, abrupt in showing how people actually look and women in uh, various uh, <laughs> positions of self-pleasure or with other women. So the cards are interesting and they're and uh, if you go to Austria you will just be inundated by uh, examples of Klimt's art there. So I love using these cards. We'll see how they work. I'm Mark, my journey through tarot. Tomorrow's another day. Stop by, we'll do it again. Ciao for now. You really make a big difference. Thank you.